So coach, as you know, the majority of coaching hires in college basketball are made in the spring, but not for you. Your official announcement was made five days before team practice started. How has that affected your mindset, knowing you don't have a whole lot of time to prepare for the season? Yeah, well, a little crazy start. Um, I think we got hired and then we had practice the next day and I you know, didn't know everybody's names yet. So uh, we've made progress since then. I've got the names down, kind of got the positions down. So uh, it's just been really hectic. It's been a whirlwind of um, all the hiring, you know, kind of backstage stuff that has to go on and then the actual coaching of the team and hiring of staff. It's been a lot of stuff. Um, but it's good. I feel like we're getting to a place where uh, we can sort of get in a rhythm and start to get our preparation going for season. You played under an absolute coaching legend at Stanford and Tara Vanderveer. What have you gleaned from her and added to your coaching arsenal? When I got to Stanford, which is such an exceptional place, um, I really learned how to build and be a part of a championship program and build a championship team. Tara did a great job of managing people um, and surrounding herself and surrounding us with uh, really good assistant coaches and um, just great information and great resources about how to be a championship team and then pushing us to, to excel and putting us in situations that were going to help us be better. I use a lot of that on a daily basis really. This is your third time around at USF. You had two assistant stints previously. How do you feel you've grown since your last time here? So the first time I was here I was two years removed from being a player in college. Uh, you know, I think I was probably Bill and Mary Nutful's worst assistant. Um, not ready to be an assistant coach, still wanted to be a player. and Got to go on and play basketball. And then the second time I came back in, and Mary Heil was the coach on her own at that point. Um, and again, just tried to help as best I could with the, with the program there. But, you know, having been a head coach since I left, you know, for the last 13 years almost, makes you really grow up um, in terms of just your you know, your coaching maturity, your knowledge of the game, your the way you relate to people and players, and um, you know I just feel really fortunate to have this third opportunity to come back and be the head coach of this program. I want to take the program back to you know some of the success that we had, and I'm really excited to have a chance to lead the program and and you know be back again. So speaking of, you're taking over for your old teammate Jennifer Az. What can you say about what she left behind for you with? Just in March, this team winning the WCC tournament, going to the NCAA tournament for the first time in a long time. Well, first, I'm really happy for Jennifer that for her transition um, to the next part of her life. I think she's excited and ready to move on. Um, she did a great job. The, the, the players are really good, good people. They're high character people. They're good students. They um, have great relationships with one another on and off the court. Um, it's a really, it's a nice group. It's going to be a nice group to work with. Um, that being said, I think it'll be a different team from last year just because they lost so much of their scoring and rebounding. Um, but it's going to give people an opportunity to step into some new roles, which I think they're really excited about. Um, I think some of the, uh, you know, the Rachel Howard and Kaylin and Anna, the, some of those returners that were um, were integral parts last year, but maybe not the first or second option, now going to have to step up their game. The fun part um, for us for, and my staff and I has been kind of figuring out um, how we're going to put those pieces together so that we can build on the success that Jennifer and the team had last year. You know, our goal is to win you know, the regular season championship and be consistently good uh, throughout the season and then give ourselves an opportunity like the team did last year to compete for a conference title in the, in the tournament. So, but they're a great group of girls. I'm really excited to have an opportunity to work with them. What can you say about the WCC as a whole and, and what you've picked up on it? The WCC conference is a really quality basketball conference. Um, good students, good kids. Um, very good high academic schools. I think it'll be a learning experience for my staff and I just to, to kind of see on a night in and night out basis what teams, what their go-to is, what type of style they play. We're going to have to learn quickly because we obviously want to be able to adapt and be competitive right away, but um, just another piece of the challenge of kind of getting getting started late, so that's just, uh, just another piece that we're going to have to overcome. Just take it off the list. Yeah. <laughs>